Michael Smith, you are the Dutch Darts Championship champion. <laughs> After uh, five years of not winning a Euro Tour title, finally you're back on the Euro Tour title streak. How does that feel? Really good. It's been five years out one, and to win number five today, I'm over the moon. I might not look it because I'm drained, but I'm ecstatic to win it. I'm so, so, so chuffed I won it. <laughs> yeah, if you look at the final, I mean, you made it definitely so excited for the for the crowd. I mean, and then winning it, it must feel even better. Then. Yeah, of course. I, I was getting, I wasn't getting nervous, but I was getting a bit edgy because every time I left a double, he checked out one to eight or one thirty, and then uh, I missed it eighty to win eight six, I believe. And then, luckily enough, when he left that one three two, I thought he'll check it. So you have to check the hundred and four. Luckily enough, the treble 19 went in. I thought, right, you've got one chance. Don't ruin it. Luckily enough, he went straight in the middle. Yeah, you didn't ruin it. About that 80 finish, it was your first match dart. Usually, you would go top stops. What made you decide to, to go for the treble 20 now? No, no, no. I always go treble 20. Never go top stops. Unless the only time I go top stops is 1-3-1, one, 1-3-4, one, one, three, one, one, three, The only times I ever go top stops. So, double 10 is my favourite double. So, I always go treble 20. It was just. A poor, fro poor thrown dart the first one, second one blocked it completely and he had to move and it's not nice when everyone's asking you to miss and you've got to try and force a dart over something else but yeah he went seven all and I managed to get lucky in the end. Yeah, oh, My bad about that, I, I was playing against Danny Nopper, the, the guy who beat you in the UK Open final. Uh, I, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was I was playing against him and, and winning from him now. You know, uh, making making sure for you that, uh, to know that you can actually beat Danny Nopert. No, I've beat Danny before. I've beat him a few times before, but I don't know good reason. I have no revenge, and that game runs a revenge. Yes, he beat me in the UK Open, and he beat me last week in not last week. Might have been last week in Prague. Beat me the first game. So just coming here, I knew I was playing well, and I, I struggled the quarters and the semis, but. I knew how to push on and win, and luckily enough, when I had the chance, I did. And yeah, so finally get my name back in the European it is massive. It doesn't matter if it was against Danny or Michael or whoever. It's not just winning here is massive now. Yeah, I noticed you were you were getting along with Danny pretty well on stage. Well, at least in the in the beginning of the game, you know, shaking some hands. Well, when Danny had some good finishes, it's, I mean, that's surprising in the final. No, I'm, it, it, that's his dad. He did two really good shots while I'm sat in a double under pressure. If he misses that, I'd be, I'd probably be talking about an 8-3 win now, 8-4 with some of the finishes he did. But twice we had to shake hands because he kept going to my table trying to drink me water. He kept, he kept forgetting that he's on the left and on the right. But uh, it's a little joke. You can joke why not for a win. And when it comes to throwing, you've got to be serious then. And I did. Great sportsmanship for sure. Um, next up is New York. When are you leaving? Uh, tomorrow morning. I've got a flight at 5-2 to two from Schiphol. Got to go to Lisbon first, then Lisbon to New York. So... Soon to land, I think I've got media Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and play Friday, <laughs> so no rest. <laughs> well, um, we're going to leave you uh, to sleep, Michael. Thanks, Michael. You're the, you're the champion here in the Netherlands, so enjoy your time.